Alright, so what's your name? Uh, my name is Ed Barlow. Well, with at and I'm what's called a service technician. Uh, when customers report, whether they're at home or at their businesses, that they're having issues with their phone service or internet services, I would be the uh, person to pull up in, in a company van and resolve their issues. I have just over 12 years, right at uh, 12 and a half years, uh, service with at and I was promised a good long career. I was promised, you know, where I can go to school and get uh, further my education if I wanted to. And I, you know, I was told that this was going to be a long career move for me. Uh, currently what they're doing is uh, they're laying us off. Uh, they're sending us home. Uh, you know, to re reduce their payroll and increase their pockets for, you know, the CEOs and everybody else. But uh, the, the workers, me, myself, and my co-workers, the ones that's out here making this money for them, they, they sending us home. You know, there's no work, there's no other jobs out here. So, uh, you know, we all hurting right now and, you know, wondering what our fate's going to be. Currently, in de December the 15th of 2011, they announced that they was laying off uh, several hundred employees across the southeastern uh, district. Uh, and, you know, these people are due to be all payroll uh, by the end of March. There's plenty of work out here to be done. Uh, like I said, the past few years they've been laying off my co-workers, you know, guys that I work side by side with. Uh, but now that they're gone, I'm not only having to do my work, I'm having to do their work as well. There's a lot of forced overtime out here uh, that's requiring me to spend a lot of time away from home with my family, you know, so I can pick up the slack uh, from the people they decided they didn't need anymore. And, there, there definitely hasn't been any reward uh, to me or my co-workers for working as hard as we're working right now. What, what I see at and needing to do, uh, besides land people off, is they need to reduce the money that's going in the CEOs and the big, you know, the big manager's hand, the big manager's pockets. You know, they need to put that money back into keeping people on payroll and sharing their profits with the people that's creating these uh, record profits for the company. You know, we bust our tails out here, and there's, there's no way they should be sending us away and they should celebrating in back offices while we're trying to go home and look in the newspaper and see what's out there available. Because we want the community to know exactly how we're being treated at work. Uh, uh, and we want their support. We want them to come out and support us. When we go to their houses, you know, to repair their services, we have to smile and speak and yes, ma'am, and yes, sir. But when we get in that truck, you know, we take an extra minute and wonder, you know, is this going to be the last job for us? And that customer never know what we're going through. And, you know, we under no uh, way, shape, form, or fashion are we going to share that information with them when we're in their houses. But right now, while I'm, I'm out here in the street, uh, you know, I'm taking it personal to make sure every customer, every a uh, person that lives in my community know exactly what I'm facing at work. What we're asking is very soon, Communication Workers of America is putting together this rally on February the 14th, where we're going to go to at and headquarters here in Atlanta, Georgia, and ask them to rescind these layoffs they're doing, to stop it. And what we want the community to do is to come out and support us when we do that. We want the community to stand behind us and let the company know it ain't just the employees that that want them to rescind these, you know, the job, the layout, it's the community as well, and we're gonna stand up and we're gonna fight, and we're gonna, we're gonna fight until they do what we need them to do.